Are we still living for eternity? Have we forgotten the eternal life? Eternity. Has it, has it just escaped from the heart of people, from the mind of people this end time? Has the church reduced to only banking sector? Has it been reduced to only fashion industry? Has the church reduced to uh, uh, only entertainment industry? Are we still looking for eternity? When I look at many things that is happening in this church these days, I discover that eternal life is, has already escaped from the life of many people in the church. But I want to draw your attention to what God said. The Bible said that if our hope is only in this world, we are of all men most miserable. Please, do me a favor, show me your love by subscribing to my YouTube channel or click to follow button if you are watching me from Facebook. And don't forget to join me in sharing this gospel to many people. Let us save lives together. God bless you. Hallelujah. So, eternal life. Has Satan reduced eternal life to money? Has wealth to replace eternity? Has he replaced eternal life? In the book of Gospel of John, chapter 6, verse 68, when the disciples, many of Jesus' disciples, left Jesus, they abandoned Jesus. Jesus turned to the twelve and asked them, Won't you follow them? Look at what Peter said. Peter rose up, stood up, and said to Jesus, To whom shall we follow? To whom shall we run to? To whom shall we run after? For you are the one that have the word of eternal life. When was the time Satan reduced eternity to ordinary money? When was the time Satan reduced the faith of child of God for making money and driving the latest car? When was the time Satan reduced the creation of gospel for wealth and science and wonder? When was the time devil now reduced eternity to ordinary things that will not last forever? That is why God decided to set up this channel so that he and this page so that he can be able to reach you. God decided to set up this platform so that he can be able to reach you and to make you to understand that eternity and eternal life is what every one of us will look for. Money is very, very important to play the role in life. Money plays a lot of role in life. And I pray that the Lord will commit wealth, commit good and silver into your hands. But I strongly believe that God will give you money beyond measure. God will answer us. God will prosper us beyond measure. If we truly look for that, that matters most. If we truly look for that, that matters most. God will bless us. Every day I heard that someone die, I remember eternity. Any day I just discover that, that during the burial ceremony of someone, I just remember eternity. When I discover that someone is being buried, I just remember eternity. But we are attending burial ceremony here and there, here and there, without coming to understanding and asking ourselves a question, when will it be our own turn? Because eternity is something that every one of us will look for. Am I saying that wealth is not good? No, God forbid. You will be so prosperous and so blessed. You will never be poor. Am I saying that favor is not good? No, God forbid. You will be highly favored. But when, but to settle on the platform of favor and to settle to the realm of favor and miracle and signs and wonder, which devil have deceived this end time church to be seeking after, is the most dangerous thing we will avoid. Child of God, let us look for eternity. Our fathers of old, our Fathers of old, the preachers of gospel, they hammered on eternal life. They preached on this world of eternity. 
How come that our generation have reduced to only high, the richest pastor, the, the most wealthiest pastor, the highest, the, 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 the most populated church, the most wealthy church? How, when, was the last, when was the time they will reduce church to that level? These days, rapture is no longer preached to people. These days, judgment day is no longer preached because he's not selling. These days, judgment day, restitution is no longer preached. Even patience is no longer preached these days. These days, you discover that those major keys of the gospel, salvation, now is the message of olden days people. Nobody wants to hear about repentance. In fact, when people hear repent, they are offended. But when people are living in sin, you go to them and prophesy to them. Tell them that their enemies tie them in one tree. They will be happy. Tell them that their, their enemy will die premature death. They will be happy. Tell them that they are going to London and Canada today, today without visa. They will be happy. But Bible said, if our hope is only in this life, we are of all men most miserable. Most miserable. Don't forget that Satan is not after today. He is doing everything against eternity. All his plan is to trap us in eternity. Satan is not disturbed if we are blessed today, if we are so prosperous today. As long as we will miss eternity at the end of our journey on earth, Satan is satisfied. In the book of Jeremiah chapter 44, verse 16. The Bible told us about the children of Israel that were worshipping idol. And as they were worshipping idol, they have material things in abundance. They have good in abundance. Because of that, they don't want to worship Almighty God. And God sent Jeremiah and said, go and tell them to worship me. They said, no, we cannot worship Almighty God. Because now we are worshipping idol. Now we are not worshipping Almighty God. We have everything we want in abundance. So when people now convert the serving God to material possession, serving God to earthly possession, serving God to cars, convert serving God to, to money, convert serving God to wealth, convert serving God to highest popular, to highest richest man of God, you know that devil have ended up deceiving this church and succeeding in his agenda. But don't forget. That if our hope is only in this life, we are of all men most miserable, says the word of God. If our hope is only in this life, we are of all men most miserable. And if you are a man of God hearing this gospel, remember that the soul God committed into your hands is not only for you to, to just give them material things, tell them how to get material things, and they will lose their soul. Remember that the soul of everyone that comes to your church, you will stand before God to give account of those souls. If you are a man of God, a minister of gospel, hearing this word of God, remember that every soul that God committed to your hands, all the souls God directed to your church, to your ministry, you will give account of those souls on the last day. All the wrong teachings you are giving them, all the things you are telling them, making them not to understand the scripture and not to plan for eternity, you will give account of those things on the last day. But I pray for you that you will not miss your reward in the name of Jesus. Don't forget to show me that favor. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click that follow button if you are watching me from Facebook page. God bless you. See you next time. And bye for now.